17 horses are under the care of an East Manatee woman. In the wake of the Napier Log Cabin Horse and Animal Sanctuary investigation, you may remember we've been telling you about this. SNN local news reporter John Andrews has the latest. Some of these horses are at least 150 pounds underweight. Others as much as 350 pounds below what is considered healthy. Feed store owner Beth Shuttleworth agreed to take in the horses and says horses in this condition cannot be left to eat their fill as it can cause severe medical problems. Their system's not used to it. It's sort of like people, you have to do it gradually. It can really affect their liver. Um, they can colic. Um, you really have to do it gradually, although like all my help wants to just keep feeding them. So it, not only do I have to maintain that herd, I have to maintain my herd here. Shuttleworth says the rescued horses are skittish and will remain in quarantine until such time they can be auctioned off thanks to a state law banning her from finding good homes for the horses when they are no longer considered evidence. They're to go on the auction block, which I'm going to start to cry because it really bothers me because to me the worst thing is to have a rescued horse have to be rescued again. Whispering Ranch's feed has partnered with nonprofit 16 Hands Horse Sanctuary. They plan to host a fundraiser barbecue Saturday the 22nd at Whispering Ranch's on Verna Bethany Road. In Mayaka, John Andrews, SNN Local News. Now, Beth Shuttleworth owns seven horses of her own, bringing the total under her care now to 24. Anybody looking to make a donation for the rescued horses can contact 16 Hands Horse Sanctuary. And we'll be sure to tell them the donation is for the Whispering Ranches Horses.